Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Programming Concepts. I am Sayyid Naveed Abbas and today I will be demonstrating reverse TCP backdoor in Python. The code is very simple as you can see. This is the code for a target machine. It will give you access of the target machine. And this is the attacker side of script. So this is for the attacker, so you can send any command which will be executed on target machine. So let's see how it works. Uh, for this, um, I will test it on Windows. So I need a an executable version of this code. So for this, we need auto uh, sorry we need to install it so we can use pip install uh, auto file to exe as you can see i have already downloaded it so i will run it auto file to exe Now I will choose the file. Uh, programming. Okay, I will create one file and I will create it as a Windows based so it wouldn't show me the console because we don't want to show anything on target machine. I will export it on desktop. I have already created one, but I can replace it. Okay, now the file has been created. And you can see the security scan required. Windows has detected it as a Trojan. But if you disguise it in, in into something else, it won't be detected anymore. Okay, so no, I need to transfer this file to my target machine and then uh, I will execute it and show you how it works. Okay, uh, this is our target machine. Here I am accessing it using remote desktop. So I can show you both the screens at the same time. So next, uh, let's execute it here. So this is the target machine and the target machine is executing the target pi. And now we open task manager and we search for target and you can see it's being executed, but it's, it's not displaying anything. That's what we wanted. So basically you have to convince your target somehow to execute this uh, program. Uh, on the attacker side, we need to run this code, the attacker code. Let's start. Sorry. So make this file startup file. Okay, now you can see C user say the bus desktop. So because this application is running on desktop, it has uh, granted me the access to this directory. Um, now I want to change the directory. So I want to change to E directory of the target machine. 
and you can see I have changed it and let me show you here uh, sorry this PC and we have we are here now I want to list um, the contents of this drive so I will use dir as you can see the directory named 2019 thesis you can see here Adobe Arduino software DaVinci Resolve desktop data full latest programming and blah 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 you can see everything so now I want to enter to this folder so I will change directory to programming and here let's go to programming okay here and in the programming we have we have uh, Arduino so let's change directly to Arduino 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 and in the Arduino we have these folders so let's see what's here so you can see the same folders Arduino gesture bell Johan Noman and blah 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 okay now we want to go to my codes so change directory to my codes okay now see what's in here so in my codes there are two directories three directories 2019 2020 and old so let's see my codes you can see 2019 2020 and old so I want to enter 2020 and let's see what's inside 2020 so inside 20 sorry it's 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 it's, it's not changed I think oh, sorry it was 2020 programming CD 2020 programming so I copy it and paste it here yeah now let's see what's here here and we have COVID-19 directory Wow. Yeah, we have COVID-19 here. Air pressure sensor. Okay. Go back. We don't need this. Okay, I need to go to um I want to go back. I want to go back to my codes. So I copy it and paste it here okay now I am back now I go to uh, 20 2019 programming so 2019 programming and let's see what's here wow a lot of data here now I want to go to blink stick okay CD blink stick now let's see what's here oh it's not changed i think yeah cd blink stick it's not changing okay it's blind stick sorry blind blind stick yeah and in the blind stick there is an Arduino code file so I want to grab this file so I want to copy uh, this file from target machine to this machine so I will grab and the name of the file copy and paste okay now the file has been grabbed so let's see and go to the projects folder so I want to go here this folder open folder and wow there's no any file yeah because it's not running here it's running from here yeah here you can see 
blank line stick has been copied here. Now let's grab something else. So we go to okay now go back cd e colon back backslash e colon backslash this time we want to go and grab something else so we go to movies so i go to movies and then i list the movies we have a lot of movies in e movies as you can see the target has many movies and we want to copy Iron Man. So I want to grab Iron Man. So grab Iron Man. But we should know the extension so we can copy the name from here. This is Iron Man. Dot MP4. It's dot MP4. Okay, grab Iron Man dot MP4. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you can see Iron Man has been grabbed. Let's play this. Yeah, it's working. Awesome. Really awesome. But something has went wrong here. I don't know why it has stopped but don't worry we can start it again from here so just close this and run it again and you are again in that folder so now I want to change to CD e colon backslash okay now I want to transfer the Iron Man uh, from this from the attacker machine to the target but this time we shall copy it here uh, right in the in the drive in the root directory of the drive so i can transfer iron man dot mp4 okay uh, the file has been transferred and you can see uh, here Come on. Yeah, you can see Iron Man has been um, transferred here in the target machine again. So this is how this um, this Trojan gives you the access of the target machine and you can grab files, you can you can run CMD commands. So let's see how CMD commands work. So from this computer, from the target, uh, from the attack room side, I'm going to run some CMD commands and then let's see what happens. Okay, now I will try to turn and shut down the PC and I will just shut down uh, PC in 60 seconds. And you can see here. Is saying you are about to sign be signed out in one minute now I want to abort this shutdown so I'm gonna shut down abort so you see shutdown has been aborted you can also know the system information of uh, the system by running system info and you can see the name of the desktop uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro and uh, here you can see the model HP Elite Book 8470P it is 64 bit and all the things here connection name 
DHCP server and blah blah blah. So this is the simple but very useful backdoor and it is written in Python so you can run it on Linux machines too. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, just keep learning. Take care. Allah Hafiz.